Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be a tutorial or just how I do this little look right here. This is part of my 14 days of Valentine's. I hope you enjoy this series that I'm doing. If you guys like the little series of different videos, hopefully my goal is 14 different looks that you could wear for Valentine's Day. And this is not the first day, I know, but this is the first one I'm filming. And because I'm trying to, of course, pre-film these. Because 14 days in a row, that's kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I will explain some more. I am using my Naked 3 here. This is the only palette I'm using. Well, the only palette I'm using, I did use one other shadow in this look, which I'll mention. I'm not wearing anything on my bottom lash line today and I don't know how many videos I won't be able to. I have a sty on my left eye here. Bear with me on that. I mean you guys could always spice it up and smoke it out on the bottom but for this video and my eye and everything I am not doing that today. Start out using Limit from the Naked 3 and this is a Sigma blending E32 brush. This is going to be an all over shade for my crease. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going to take Nooner. This is going to map out the little cut crease thing. I don't know what you want to call this look. And definitely using a lighter shade than black. I chose the Naked 3 today because I feel it's kind of like a romantic palette. I don't know, is that just me? But like wedding-y, romantic type deal. Okay, here's what I have so far. I never end up using black on this side, but you can definitely do that yourself if you'd like. Add no more product, just blend, blend, blend. Soften that up. Pixel brush and go in with, going in the dark side here. This you just want to take on the outline. Darkening up the outline is what we're doing here. As I took it along the line, I'm kind of like, I wouldn't say brushing up, but basically I'm trying to brush up with this little brush. Then I'm taking Black Heart. Definitely focus on very lightly on the inside, inner corner. You guys get my drift. Blend, blend, blend. Taking Royal Techniques brush in shade, or the shading brush is what I'm using. And then I'm going to go in between, going in between Dark Side and Black Heart. You could use a liner to start this little cut crease thing. I mean, you can do it any way you want. This is just how I find it easiest, so it's not too, since I have like hooded eyes, so it's not completely smoked all the way up to my eyebrow. Because when I, the first time I ever tried that, it was very bad. I'm gonna tap in Limit again. Blend, blend, blend. Marathon. I, my inspiration for that is from That Girl Shay XO. She, every once in a while, does have one. Now I'm taking Strange right here with the same brush, and then that's going to be my highlight. Also help kind of blend everything together here. It's still not as dark as the other side, so I'm going to go back in with this one here and add a little more black heart. Just along the line. You could always go back, touch up once you do down at the bottom. But I think for the most part that looks pretty even, I think. <laughs> okay, now for the lid. I started using, sorry, this one. It was not showing up. So I decided to use my ColourPop in Bubbly. It's kind of like a base. This one, I mean, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But what I was using it for, it wasn't quite showing up the intensity that I wanted it to. So that's when I w went back over with Dust and Buzz. Urban Decay brush. This is from the Naked 3 palette. Here comes Waylon. This is kind of pat everywhere. Follow the line. You could use a flat shadow brush if you want to be very precise. Now you could just leave it like that, but I'm going to hack on some color onto it. Other side of the brush and go in, in with dust and buzz. A little more to it putting shadow on top of them. Just flick them kind of together. Like so there's not a definite line between the two shadows. I'm going to take the pencil brush or 
the yeah this brush and go in with dark side and black cardigan. this bad boy up. Okay, before I clean it up, I'm going to do my liquid liner, and I'm using the Sephora liner. I don't know if they'll focus, but there that is. It dries matte. my Marc Jacobs that I got my little sample lash lifter gel volume mascara I tell you what guys when I was doing my other my right side as some of you may know about my spasms that my face has it happened three times as I was trying to do that look that's why I always do my left side and I'm left-handed so it's easier to show you guys than having my you know like that let me know down below what you guys typically do for valentine's day if there's a certain thing you guys do each year something we have just done every single year is go to texas roadhouse that's what we done for our first and then the next year we done it and for like three years in a row my cousin joined us so it's kind of like a tradition for her to go along with us and then she had a little family and so that kind of stopped but it was still fun to have her there, and now we bring, of course, the kids with us. It's no romantic little date, which is perfectly fine. They are our little Valentine. But, of course, pop lashes on this. I'm not doing a whole lot today, so I don't want to wear waste a perfectly good pair of lashes. I have some wedding makeup doing or coming soon, like, for me to do on clients and... So I'm saving my new, like brand new, like much mascara as you want. If you're going to put false lashes on, just put a thin coat and then pop the lashes on. Uh, that is it for the eye look. I'm going to finish up my face off camera and then come back on and maybe do my lips on camera. Let you see the final look. I have done my face, everything except for my lips now. I'm through my face real quick. I just, I filmed my first impressions on these i used my new wet and wild center the center stage around the clock blush as lynette says the hooker blush and i don't think it's picking up how bright it is from what i can see it looks like i don't know this is like it matches my pink or my shirt perfect i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's it, that's what it does but I really really like this I, at first I used a light hand and I couldn't see like kind of even though like look at that bad boy it swatches like BAM but I used a stipple brush and I don't know I love it oh my gosh I love it and used my pearls translucent pearl from Physicians for me bronzer was my Milani um, medium tan bronzer. Um, kind of got carried away with it, but ooh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And lips. What kind of a lip should we do for this? I don't know. Hmm. I want to use one of my Jordana. Why not test out all three with this look? I'm going to start with lightest brown here. The matte plush. Not going to line my lips or nothing because I'm not sticking with this color. This is like the perfect nude for me. Let me know what you think of this one. Favorite. Love this. I might have to go back to this. I love it. The perfect nude for me. The second color I'm going in with is Matte Classy. This is like a deeper nude. This for me is kind of like my lips but better. Almost reminds me of um, Touch of Spice. Almost reminds me of Touch of Spice that Waylon decided to eat. These are very, like, dry, but they're not leaving my lips look all gross. This is a pretty color, too. I really like this one. Oh, my gosh, it's hard to decision. But, again, here is class, Matte Classy. Last but not least, here is Matte Popular. It is very pretty pink. 
tell you what, lip swatches are so hard to, like, not hard, but hard on your lips. This one glides on so much easier, which the other two weren't bad, but definitely smoother. I don't know if the camera's actually picking up, like, how beautiful these are. Here is Matte Popular. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. And thumbs up this video if you want to see some more videos for my 14 days of Valentine's. Next up, hopefully, is a hair tutorial. Here's my finished look. You all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye, beauties.